This is the 2001 Battle for Olympia for the ninth lane. Um, actually, we started the Battle for Olympia, I believe, in 96, I think was the first one. And I was an amateur, and uh, I was actually uh, got to get in some shots. So that was my first real, you know, national coverage was Chris Vermeer. I was working out with him at the time. And uh, that was my first Battle for Olympia I was in. So it's actually exciting to be get doing the contest this year and getting ready for the 2001 Olympia and doing the Battle for Olympia where I'm an exclusive. So, Battle for Olympia is something to see. It's a chance for you to buy a tape that has all the bodybuilders in it and everybody's has their own style, their own way of uh, their approach to the Olympia stage. They all have their own approach, so it's a good theater to get because everybody's on it. So, I recommend this is one of the best tapes, you know? So, that's all I gotta say. It's time for battle. you see me on stage in 10 days. exercise I'm about to do right now. It's pre-contest and I'm really working for muscle detail. And I used to use the 45s on the T-bars, but today I'm going to use the 35s. That way I get more of a range of motion. Usually when I use 45s, I do a lot of weight, but I'm only going down so far and I'm only contracting so far. With a 35, I'll get more room to work with, so you'll see a difference in my back. I'll be able to squeeze it a lot better, just like doing a regular bicep. So I use lighter, lighter plates. But just, you know, I get more of a contraction so it works a lot better. Basically, a T-bar row uh, concentrates on your total back, but in different positions. Uh, from beginning to end, the starting position is actually with your arms stretched out. And what that does is it gives your latissimus dorsi, which is on the outside of your lats, a good stretch. It works your lats until the halfway point, and then your rhomboids come into play. From halfway point to three-fourths of the motion, it brings in your high rhomboids trap area. At the top, it squeezes your Christmas tree because you almost have to like you stay keep your uh, your back erect. On the way down, it's the same thing. Get everything stretched out. Start all over again. Latissimus dorsi, halfway up. Round boys at the top. Christmas tree. Round boys traps. So that's what I go through every time. So I'm not, I'm not going real fast because if you jerk it, 
you miss it. Anybody, I can jerk weight all day. I can do 10 plates like that easy. I do that in the off season. Well, I'm trying to get detail right now. So I want to go in sections. I'm going not as fast. I'm holding the weight at the top. And it's just a, a different kind of burn, different kind of intensity. So that's what this T-bar hip size is all about. Got to get ready. It's just like hitting the back double bicep. That's where it's at. Oh, my God. Oh, what the hell I done got myself into? Oh. Come on, man. Oh. Stay there and do that shit. 